everyone and welcome back to Fisher Highlights on Pipsaw TV channel. My name is Sinisha and in today's episode I'm going to show you how to set up a landing page. The landing page is the similar thing that Facebook or Twitter use when you visit their website while not being logged in. All you can really do on these pages is either create a new account or sign in or log in before you can see or interact with the content. Similarly, you can make Pipso behave in the same way while using Get a Team. All of your users will be able to do is either you, uh, log in with existing username or email or create a new account. So let me show you how to set all of this up. Before we proceed in setting this up, let me explain how landing page works. When user visit your website, Pipso and Getro will first check if user is logged in, and if it's not logged in, then we will simply redirect guests to the specific page that we created. I'm just saving the change so I can demonstrate this. If I refresh this page as a non-logged in user, all I can really see is this landing page. In order to set it up, let's go back to the WordPress backend, then navigate to Pages and add new. Give this page a nice title, let's say landing. Do not enter any content here, leave it blank. And here in the page settings on the right hand side, in the template section, select landing and publish the page. Now go to Gecko settings and redirect guests to your new landing page. I will have to refresh this page to actually see the new page. And here it is, landing, save the change, and that's all there is to it. You see how the web address changed to the new landing page. Some potentially unwanted items are still showing on this page. For example, this menu over here. Let's see if I try to open community or members or groups, blog, any page I try to open, I will always be redirected to the landing page. So there is really no need for this menu to show up here. To remedy that, go back to your WordPress dashboard, pages, all pages, and then find your landing page. Edit the page, and in the right sidebar, look for Get Row Page Options. You can either hide the entire header or just hide the header menu. Let's try to hide the header menu only because we don't want to hide the entire header. If we hide the entire header, everything here will be gone, but we only want menu to be gone. So Hide the header menu, update the page, now let's check it out. Refresh the page and the menu is gone. Using the same principle for hiding the menu, we can also hide logo and the footer. Simply go back to your page settings, get the page options, then hide header and hide footer. Update the page, and let's check it out now. It's all nice and clean. If you don't like the default image shown here, you can, of course, change it. To do that, go back to the landing page settings again, and then in Featured Image, simply set Featured Image. You can either upload your own or use 
one of the already available files. I have uploaded this image over here and I want to use it. I'm just going to set it as featured image. Update the page. Now go to the landing page and refresh it. And it's simple as that. I re-enabled the header and footer because I think it looks nicer like that. And I also, I will need footer to add some additional menus and make the exception for the, for the, for the pages in that menu. So user will be able to visit them. This is particularly useful if you have terms of service or privacy policy that you want to show your users before they register on your website. First, I will create the privacy policy in pages, adding the new page and compiling my privacy policy, as well as terms of service by simply creating a new page and adding the terms of service. Then I will go to menus, create a new menu, give it a name footer menu and add it to footer menu. Create menu, and in this new menu, I'm going to add my privacy policy page and my terms of service page. They, here they are. Save the menu, and now if I go and see my landing page, I will have those two menus over here. That is fine, however, I cannot really access these pages. You can probably hear me clicking on this page, but it's constantly redirecting me to the landing page. I need to add the exception for these two pages so they will actually be accessible. To do that, I will need to do two things. I will need to find out the ID of these pages and then enter that ID into the exception lists in Gecko. So let's go back to the WordPress dashboard, go to our pages, all pages, look for your privacy policy page, edit the page and notice, notice the post equal number. We need this number over here. So for our privacy policy, post ID is simply number three. We are going to enter that number in Gecko settings redirect exceptions so let's add it number three save the changes and also go back to all pages search for your terms of service and the post id in this case is 329 let's copy that id Go back to the data settings, separate it with comma, and enter the terms of service page ID. You can see the examples here. Save the change, and now refresh the landing page and try to access the privacy policy or terms of service. And just by looking at this page, I can already see your next question. All of these widgets are showing up to the non-registered users. So if I open the privacy policy page, I can see my entire menu and my widgets showing to the guest user, and I don't want that. Unfortunately, when it comes to WordPress and widgets, by default, there are very limited options that you have. So you can't really choose who will be able to see these widgets. They are simply showing as they are. To fix that, we will need the third-party plugin called Widget Options. We usually don't explain the third-party widgets here. However, in this case, I will make an exception. You see what I did there? Okay, so I'm going to install this widget option, add context to the WordPress widget, activate this plugin, and this plugin will do a few things for me. 
first of all, if I go to the appearance and then widgets, the first thing you'll notice it is going to change change the widget settings to the old layout and now I can go to any widget that I want let's check community hashtags for example which is in right sidebar so I'm going to open the sidebar right and find this block over here I can hide or show on chat page, pages however I'm more, I'm more interested in the user login state so in this case community hashtags widget I want to show only for logged in users save the widget and now if I refresh the page you will see the the community hashtags widgets is no more let's do the same thing for latest photos and latest media latest photos go to this user icon show only for logged in users save the widget and same thing for latest media show only for logged in users save refresh the page and now I have cleaner privacy policy you can do the same things for the login widgets and for latest members widgets if you want okay so what about menus how do we get rid of the unwanted menu items before none of these are working right now to do that go back to your wordpress dashboard then plugin plugins add new and look for if menu it probably won't be here in the first few items but scroll it down a little bit and you will find it here if menu visibility control for menu items install it now and then activate the plugin go back to appearance menus expand the menu you want to hide enable visibility rules and then show if is logged in save the menu and now look what will happen with this members menu item when i refresh the page it's completely gone let's do the same thing for groups enable visibility rules show if is logged in save the menu blog enable visibility rules show if is logged in and so on save the menu go to the page and all of those menu items are gone all right before we finish for today i need to add a little disclaimer in this video i use third-party plugins we do not really endorse or can support these third-party plugins because we do not develop them and we do not have access to their code you can probably find other third-party plugins which will do the similar things but have more features it's all up to you which one you'll use. These are simply my personal preferences that I found useful when tackling the situation with widgets and menu visibility. All right, so that is all I have for you today. If you found this video useful, give us a thumbs up, smash that bell icon to be notified whenever new video comes out, follow us on social media, and until next video, I wish you all the best. Bye.